Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and I'm back here with another late night upload on some Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and the new maps are out. The Descent DLC map pack is out and this map pack is pretty good I'd say. I'm gonna be talking about in today's video and I actually got, you guys won't believe this, but I got a nuclear in my first game ever on the, the map pack at all. I logged on and it took me about two hours to download this map pack which I don't know if my internet was just acting up or whatever but I logged on and this was literally the first game ever on any of the new maps and I played on the new version of Raid, which is Empire. This is Raid from Black Ops 2, if you guys didn't play that. And I dropped a freaking nuclear in the first game. So this is a really good gameplay. I'd appreciate if you guys could all smash out a like on this thing. I, I just wish I downloaded the maps like really earlier and I preloaded them because then I would have had the first uh, world's first nuclear, but whatever. It was still nuclear in my first game. Guys, if you guys could smash a like up on this video, I'd really appreciate if you guys could get 2,000 likes on this video. That'd be absolutely awesome. I made a video earlier today talking about the patch update, but this one is going to be focused all on the map pack. I'm going to be talking about it in a little bit and giving my opinions on it and all that sort of stuff. After this nuclear gameplay, I also have some gameplay from one of the other best maps on this map pack, Cryogen, and uh, let's get right into it. So, this map pack comes with four maps. Now, obviously, this first one that you're seeing right here, this is Empire, and it's a remake of Raid from Black Ops 2. This is David Vonahar's favorite map, and a lot of people that play, you know, Treyarch games and Black Ops 2's favorite map ever, this was a very popular one in Black Ops 2, and I think this map is really good, and the remake is really good as well. There's they really didn't mess up anything on this map except over by the pool side there's a little bit like out of, a little bit of spots out of the map where people can jump out of the map into like a separate pool and jump back into the map and get some little cheesy spots but other than that the spawns work pretty much the exact same as black ops 2 spawns work so that's why even though it's my first game ever on this map i seem to you know act like i know the map completely because the spawns are working exactly how they would on black ops 2 and i play black ops 2 quite a bit i have quite a few nuclears on this map in black ops too so i think this one is probably one of the best ones in the whole map pack the way that they remade this map and i, I kind of don't like when people remake maps or when the game developers remake the map and do it sort of differently like raid for, had a modern sort of feel and this one empire has sort of like an ancient uh, i don't even know what it is it's, it's an empire it's like an ancient rome sort of feel to it which is pretty cool but you know it, i don't like the aesthetics as much as the original map but i still like how it's bright colors the worst is when they take like uh, an uh, old good map with bright colors and the remake has dark colors that's just completely garbage it's like i remember that when they remade summit that one was like a snow map and the remake was like a dark rainy map i really didn't like that one i think the remake was actually called uplink or something like that that's kind of weird if it was actually called uplink before the uplink game mode came out but that was in uh call of duty black ops 2 i think when they had that remake this remake is done completely well. Empire is a very good map. Now, the other maps that we have on this thing, the uh, the other maps we have, one of them is called Rumble. Now, Rumble, I thought that one was going to be very good when I saw the trailers. It looked like a small size map, and we all know that they promote medium, small to medium size maps on these map packs. I thought Rumble was going to be a banger of a map, and we loaded onto that one, and that map is not very good at all. That map actually is pretty big for uh, you know a DLC map, and the Rumble map, it seems like like one side of the map is acts like grind from black ops 2 and the other side of the map is just completely open kind of reminds me of a map from like that game overwatch or something like that it's not really the best map and i'd have to say that one is probably the worst map out of this map pack rumble it's still not that bad i think that that one will be actually play very well for 9v9 i just find that it's a bit big for a 6v6 map and it also doesn't have the best rush routes there seem to be like little underground routes and a bunch of cheeky cheeky cheesy routes that i really don't like i like the traditional style of call of duty where it's either a three lane map or a triangle style domination map you know traditional call of duty maps like this one raid right here obviously a three lane map uh, empire i keep calling it raid empire you guys know what i'm talking about uh you know if you played black ops 2 now i want to know uh, how many of you guys in the comment section down below let me know if you guys played black ops 2 or if you're first playing this map on black ops 3 because i know a lot of people actually haven't played black ops 2 because if we think about it that was what three four years ago black ops 2 came out three years ago i think so I know a lot of you guys actually probably haven't played that. And don't be embarrassed if kids are, you know, yelling at you in the comments saying, you never played Black Ops 2. Let me know because I actually want to know how many of you guys are newer to Call of Duty. And, uh, you know, there's no hate. I hate when people always do that stuff. Like they say, oh my gosh, I knew about this rap artist for years before you did. Like, you know, you can't really hate on people that um, are new to something and just find out about it. Because how can you hate on them for something that they don't really know about? And I think I get the nuclear here right in a second. Um, I come over here and I'm really close to streaks. I was playing with a 
few of my buddies and I was telling them, please don't pick up tags. I'm really close to a nuclear and I think I run out here and get the nuclear right, uh, yeah, right here on this last kill right here. I end up to pick up the nuclear and I was pretty excited. I was using the M8A7 but then I pick up a bunch of different weapons. But the other DLC map that we have is the map Berserk. Um, that's one is very small. This map Berserk, it's really small map. Now I'm usually a huge fan of small maps. However, this map is small which I, I automatically love a map that's small because it means high action means I can pull up my VMP and wreck people but that Berserk map just has a weird sort of loadout and playstyle on it. It reminds me of the Frost DLC map from Black Ops 2. Uh, this game player watching is on the Cryogen map. We'll talk about that in a second but Berserk has a really small, it's a really small map but it's built all around head glitches, flank routes and wall runs which I don't really like the, the wall run and the head glitch part of it. It seems like whenever you try to hit the flank on that one or whenever you try to go straight up the middle. Uh, this is when I'm play, playing Domination on it. It seems like there's always people camping on it. The best way that I did on that map was just to pull out an M8A7, even though it's a small map, sit back and pick people off trying to go to B. I think that map could be very strong for hard point or kill confirmed, but as far as Domination, I don't think the traffic flows very nicely on that Berserk map. Another thing about that map is that there's snow always on that map. It's like hard snow is raining down for the whole gameplay, the whole 10 minutes you're playing that map. And it can be kind of annoying uh, just that the snow is super, you know, uh, super intense in your face. It can be kind of annoying. It's like those rain maps, but 10 times more annoying than that. But that Berserk map is decent. I'd say the Berserk map is probably the third best map. And then these, this one, Cryogen and the Raid Remake are the top two. Definitely Rumble's the worst one. This map, Cryogen, is absolutely insane. I have a ton of gameplays on this map I'm gonna be uploading but this one I had a bunch of fun on this map is a traditional three lane map the only bullshit on this map is on this right side uh, they have like these these uh, circular like cylinder sort of tubes that are built their their only purpose in the game is so people can wall run on them and those are really annoying especially if you play against people that love to use those wall runs but this map is a traditional one it kind of reminds me of verge from the last map pack I think it was you can basically get a really good spawn trap going on this one and do quite work uh, do quite a bit of work on this. I think you'll see me in a few minutes later in this gameplay. I get a hater up and I get this, them spawn trapped at the back and I just go absolutely ham. This one is definitely an SMG style map and I definitely think this one it might even be better than the Raid remake. Those two are really the top two maps. Obviously the Raid one brings back a lot of good old times and that one probably is the best map. This one would be the second best map but I can I can agree with people if they you know mix those two around if they never played Raid. This map is extremely fun. The spawns are crazy and it definitely is high action. So overall what would I rate this map pack? I'd say this map pack is pretty decent. I'd say it's probably... The last map pack we had was pretty good as well. The first map pack was a kind of weak. I'd say this one is might be the best map pack we've had so far in Black Ops 3. It's at least as good as the last one. Do I think it's worth buying? Yes, I definitely do. I think that, you know, I like how they released it at 9 o'clock. Uh, they released it at 9 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 12 o'clock Eastern. Because usually when they release them super late at night, um, there's a lot of tryhards on. There's definitely going to be tryhards if you're playing on these new maps. But do I think this map is worth it? I think, or this map pack in total, I think yes. This is a very good map pack and I'm completely pleased with it except that rumble map that one really had, I if that one had me raging a little bit I only played a few times because I tried to avoid that map but other than that these other maps are definitely worth the money and I think that if they had included the map empire or this map cryogen or even berserk in the game as like a default map this is sort of how I judge DLC maps I say if these maps weren't DLC and they were just included in the game when it first came out how good of maps would these be and I'd say this map cryogen and empire would definitely be in the top five maps in the game as far as default or like if they were included with the default game and berserk would definitely be in the top 10 as well that map rumble wouldn't be in the top anywhere that map is sort of you know plays like a what it's like a hunted or a redwood sort of map those ones aren't really my favorites in black ops 3 but these other three it's definitely worth it and if you guys don't mind playing a few dlc sweaty uh, you know sweaty kids on the dlc i'd say that this map pack is definitely worth it now it is only out on the ps4 it comes out probably in I think like a month later to Xbox and PC which I've always thought was BS you know I hate how you know they already sell out enough you know Activision already sells out enough with doing their supply drops and doing all that sort of stuff it kind of sucks how they have to have a partnership deal with the map packs coming out a month early to certain people um, you know that kind of sucks why they do that I understand having them a partnership deal with PlayStation or Xbox to see where the competitive scene is played on and stuff like that but as far as for the DLC maps I think that affects too much it affects you know casual players and 
public match players like all of you guys watching this video and myself and I really dislike that I hope that that ends sometime soon but I think next year's Call of Duty is going to be with PS4 as well which kind of sucks for the Xbox players but you know what are you gonna do they're selling out again Activision with that one what it's whatever you guys will have the map packs in a month and if you guys watch these videos you'll know all the strategies when those map packs drop so that can be kind of helpful anyway thanks for watching today's video if you guys could drop a like on this video I'd really appreciate that and a comment a DLC down the comment section down below as well comment your favorite map if you guys actually have played this on PS4 I know some of you guys will have played this some of you guys will have not comment it down in the comment section below which of these maps is your favorite thanks for watching subscribe for cookie drop a like and don't looky and I'm out peace